how can we really be sure how dairy affects our health when so much of the literature is funded by the dairy industry? I think there's a couple of levels we can think about industry funding. The first is most of the epidemiology is not industry funded. You don't necessarily need industry funding to look at populations. So the at the level of epidemiology, this isn't something that is necessarily going to be as influential as people might think. I think the second factor then is in terms of interventions, which are much more likely because they need a, a source of funding in order to experimentally carry out whatever design that they have proposed. I think it's really important to scrutinize methodology. And I think that ultimately industry funding is something to be aware of as an amber light, but it's not an instant red light. What makes it potentially shift from amber to red is if there are some methodological factors that, you know, are not satisfactory in a critical appraisal of that paper, like is randomization method mentioned? Uh, was that method appropriate? What was the recruiting method? And all these kind of really kind of more nitty gritty questions. And if a study ultimately stands up to a methodological critical appraisal, then I don't think that we need to be as concerned with the source of the funding. 